something is bothering you. All I have to do is look at you and I know you want to say something. All right. You may speak. Your Majesty, of all the maidens in this palace, do you know that I am the one who loves you the most? Um, it could be right, but I can't tell. Well, all my royal maidens love me because I am the king and supreme controller. You do not know your majesty because you do not know what love is. I love you with all my heart. I love you more than my life. But I want you to make me a promise. Um, what is this promise you would like me to make? Your Majesty, I want you to gather all the royal maidens in the palace mm -hmm. and issue a statement that I, Angel, is the leader of all maidens in the palace. How could you allow such a thought to cross your heart? <laughs> all the maidens in the palace, all royal maidens in the palace whom I have made my wives. They're all equal. And I repeat, all equal. I'm sorry, my dear, I cannot. I cannot announce you as the leader or head of whatever. Your Majesty, please wait. Please wait. Your Majesty. All the problems in this palace have not been solved because you have refused to make me the leader. Your Majesty, my love, make me the head of all maidens. I promise you, all the problems in this palace will be solved. On the contrary, you have not been able to solve the problem because not one of you is a maiden of honor. Oh yes, I remember what the seer said. You will find a maiden of honor who will solve the problem. But the rest of you, yes, you will enjoy and have a wonderful time in the palace. You will be, you will lack nothing. But it is only the Maiden of Honor who will now have the mantle of the leader. What is wrong with this man? Wait. Is he planning to bring in another Maiden in this palace?
You know, oh. you have proved to me that you are outstanding. Yes. And oh. take it from me. Okay. I'm going to make your stay in this palace blissful. You don't talk until I tell you you're the talk. Can you kiss me? Mm. 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 Oh, I like that. Now you can talk. Okay. See, some of my fellow royal maidens uh -huh. in the palace uh -huh. are planning to cajole the king uh -huh. into choosing them as our leader. I want you to use your good offices okay. to make sure I become the leader. Oh. Mm. Uh, I see. Is that all? Mm -hmm. Why are you bothered about the inordinate dreams of your colleagues? You are the one who best fits the position. So you are the one I'm going to make the leader. Mm -mm -mm. Oi. You have to promise me. Yeah. Promise me you do not accept me as you said. That means you don't know me. I am Naka. Prince Naka. I'm a man of my word. When I give my word, it stands. Mm. Yes. And I am the one in control of the family wealth. So whatever I say is final. You are going to be the leader of the maintenance. Where is she coming from? I don't get it. Where is who coming from? I saw Nora. I saw her walking down the staircase filled up with excitement. Are you trying to tell me she wasn't coming from here? Come on. And what were you telling her? For Christ's sake, give me some credit. Are you nuts? Huh? Is it because, uh, because I'm messing around with you? Huh? I am a man of honor. A man of dignity, I can, I can mess around with someone like Nora. Am I not good enough? Have I ever resisted you? What did you see in Nora that you can't find in me, Angel? Look at me now. Right? You know me, I feel you, I love you. Okay? Are you sure? Oh, please, you know me, I'm a respectable man. I can have nothing to do with Nora. That's my friend. It's you. It's you I love, you know. Oh. 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 I'd like to speak with my father, the king, in private. So I demand that the guards give us some time. Tell me, why did you dismiss the guards? Your Majesty, it's generally known that the title of the Supreme Controller, which you took, is not a noble one. I want to make a noble inquiry from you, Father. Why did you take a title that all the kings who ruled before you refused to take? Son, all the kings who ruled before me did not understand the value of it. I, I, 
I understand the value of that title. Your Majesty, I, I, I plead with you in my capacity as Prince Ubaka, your son, to please drop that title. How dare you? How dare you speak like that to the king? Oh, was that why you wanted us to dismiss the, the guards? Oh, you want the elders to take me for granted? No, father, no! On the contrary, the elders are going to accord you maximum respect because they know your potential. Your Majesty, the people are not happy. And I myself, I know that this title is not good for me. Prince Obaka, Your Majesty, this meeting is over. I am the king, the supreme controller and the most powerful king who ever ruled this land. This is final. Yes, it's either you bear with me or I'll crush you. I tried to discuss the issue with Prince Naka and he made some observations. Okay, so what did he say? And what are the observations that he made? Amaka, please, you are the one that called this meeting, so please tell us what you're planning. Oh, yes. Ladies, um, I've come to the conclusion that we need a leader. You know, we need to appoint a leader within ourselves. If you don't know, this family has so much money in the account. If you don't need money, I need so, so sorry to interrupt you, but if you're asked to pick a leader among us, who will you choose? Good answer. I've always asked myself, do we need a leader to achieve what we want in this place? Oh yes, Ozuma, we need a leader. Mm-hmm. In that case then, I should be the leader. What? <laughs> well, <laughs> you! Do you actually really think you have better leadership qualities than all of us? Look at all of you. All of you are schemers, and you know schemers are not in the better position to become leaders. Hey. So I should be. My fellow maidens, I have realized that you all do not have any idea what the king is planning. And what is he planning? Well, the king told me in confidence that he is bringing in a maiden of honor, who is going to be our leader. Minjo, where did you get that from? That is not possible. In fact. The king told me that he's not going to bring another maiden into this palace. He said he will appoint a seer that will make the existing maidens solve the problem in this palace. The king has good. already seen the seer. The seer said that the maiden of honor is going to be the one to solve all the problems in this palace. <clears throat> and the king personally told me that she is going to also be our leader. Well, I call for That can meeting. never happen in this palace. Even if anybody wants to be the leader amongst all of us, it is me, Angel. Angel, I called for this meeting and I should be the leader. Yes. <laughs> no! This is a missing the I should be the one to be the leader amongst you. Angel, but... shut up! Me! Listen to me, I called for this meeting and I'm gone! You're crazy! Sajima, you coming with me? Please, Angel. You better come. 
Majesty, Igwe Potter Potter of Potter Potter Kingdom wants to see you. Move. There's something very special about you. I don't understand what you mean, Your Majesty. You are coming back to the palace with me. I'm sorry, but my my fiance is. It is an order, Supreme Controller of Putuputu Kingdom. No, Your Majesty, my fiance is waiting for me just around the corner. No. Come on, wait, don't take off. Put your hands Are you sure it was you could put to yourself? Papa, I know I am not from this kingdom, but I know you're king. The man even stepped down from his car and, and, and introduced himself as the king. And then a guard came out, I, I, I suppose the head guard, and now said that the Igwe wants Ifunaya. And then they took her away. I, 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 I don't know what is going on. What is he saying? I don't know what is going on, Papa. What is it? What is he saying? What happened? Speak to me now, what is it? No, Ifunaya. Huh? Igwe put a to take Ifunaya to the palace. What? My daughter, you are not serious, are you? You are not serious. Mama, they say what happened is, is it's a law in this kingdom. That the hey. man is the supreme controller. I don't know what it means. I don't understand what is happening. Okay. What is happening? This is what I've been saying. How can they allow that man to have draconian powers in this new age? I come to think of it. What would a man that could not count his concubines work with my daughter? Eh? And you want me to sit down here and watch? I'm going after him because I will not allow it. Me, I will not allow it. Mama, 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 what? I know what you're trying to do. Be careful. Let me tell you, Mama. Igwe Putu Putu is an evil man. You should be very careful. Hey! Wait in the libe. I don't understand you. I don't understand you at all. Eh? So, you want me to be careful and calm, knowing that my own daughter, if now, is in the hand of that evil man? Who has kidnapped her and want to make her his wife? Mama. You want me to become about it? Mama, did you say kidnap her? Want yes, of course. Papa. Yes, kidnap her. Papa. Yes. Papa, are you trying to say that I'm, I'm not going to see my FMI again? Yes. That is the kind of power they allowed a man to have, all in the name of tradition. Hi. 
the sinner has kidnapped your if and liner and you are not going to see her again and there is nothing any one of us can do we are seated comfortably with her father if now is in the hands of the king Papa. that's why every day as the day breaks i regret of not being made a man if i am a man i am a man for nine all this nonsense will not be happening in this land potopoto because i will not allow it i will fight for it <sighs> wait wait where is he going to you're asking me where he's going to he's going after the woman he loves he's he has gone after the woman he loves I bring greetings from the throne of Igwe Potopoto Poto of Potopoto Poto Kingdom. And peace be unto this house now and always. Your greeting makes no sense to me. Why are you here? A maiden of this land by the name of Funanya. Whom I understand is your daughter. Is now under the protection of the throne. It is the instruction of the king that I let you know so you don't declare her missing. <laughs> I'll take my leave. Again, and you can do things. It smells. If I have my wife, we want to be part of it. You don't have anything to tell him. You're quiet. Ancestors, either of us could assume the throne as king. Isn't it high time we looked him in the eyes and tell him what he's doing is not right? I still don't get it. What did our father do? He's returned with yet another maiden of this land. And as we speak, she's with him in his chambers. This idea of the king abducting innocent maidens all in the name of Supreme Controller must stop. I think it's high time we looked him in the eyes and told him the truth. I'm going to assume I am Just that you want to look our father in the eyes. I will look you in the eye and tell you that the king is the highest authority on this land. You don't question him. Do you know the number of maidens we have in this palace? Do you have a problem with the maidens we have in this palace? Naka, vibrant young women are brought into this palace and declared wives to the king by the king himself. I see danger. I see danger. What danger? Someday, these girls will get frustrated and eventually absorb. 
revenge of yours. And what do you mean? Eventually, I'm sorry. Well, you might set the spires on fire or do something severe. Now there's only one thing. My brother, let us stop the game. Stop the game. Let me remind you. Traditionally, that means that any woman, either indigenous or foreign, who breathes the air of this land is mine. So you see, uh, all the plannings that you've been doing with the, that ninkum poop, yes, it's all done in, in, in error. Uh, now that you know that you are mine, uh, uh, just relax, open up. Uh, and, and be the maiden who will break the jinx. I don't know what you mean by jinx. I don't, Your Majesty. My fiancé is supposed to pay my bride price this Saturday, and I beg you to please let me go. You know, it has been revealed to me that some en enemies of mine, whose names are still not revealed, have put a curse on me. Oh, yeah. Uh, so if I meet a, a woman outside the palace, my manhood would declare war and ready to go. But the same beautiful woman, I take her into the palace and my, my manhood will go on permanently. <laughs> With a competent, uh, traditional um, doctor. Told me that I am on the verge of uh, uh, solving the problem. Because I will find a maiden in this land who will solve the problem. And that is why you are here. Your Majesty, I don't know anything about meeting doctors. And I am not a maiden. Uh, how do you know if you don't try? If you are able to resurrect my manhood to the point where I can do to a woman what a man should do. Oh. <laughs> oh. I shall give you anything you want in this kingdom. I don't want anything, Your Majesty. I just want to go. Ah! 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 Now you listen to me. You listen to me. Don't, don't go. Don't go. Please. I want you to know that I have informed your parents that you are under my protection. Oh, yes. And the district police officer is also aware. 
So you see, you cannot go anywhere. You are mine. Why don't you, you know, why don't you understand? This is, uh, you know, it, it, it. come on, be mine. And, uh, you know, I want you to understand that I, I hold you as a maiden of honor. So you blast up me for entering the palace to see the king. Knowing fully well that your king has kidnapped my daughter and kept him half for his wife. See, I will not leave this gate today until I see the king. Do you hear me? Woman, it has been communicated to your family that your daughter is under royal protection. Why are you here the king deport us? You are stupid. What are you talking about? Wait. What nonsense protection are you talking about? Is it by force? See, let me tell you. My daughter is due to get married come this Saturday. And I've made every arrangement for that. If your king succeeds in taking other maidens as his wife, he will not succeed on my own. I will fight him. I will get my daughter today. Let me ask you. What do you think you can do? If we refuse to allow him to this palace, what will you do? <laughs> Even if you take everything for granted, don't take for granted that I'm a woman from this land. I am a woman from this particular land. And women from this land are powerful. Do you hear me? Women from this land are powerful. Your king has touched the tail of a tiger. He has touched the tail of a tiger this time around he wants to go free. I will fight him. Go and communicate this message to him. Go and tell him I said so. Look, woman, those that refuse to accept will eventually accept one day. And when they finally accept, they will even accept more than those that accepted from the beginning. Did you hear me? Are you Did you hear me? Are you talking to me? Yes. So you are talking to me now in parables. Look at you. You want to know the meaning? <laughs> okay. If you will know the meaning, you shall know the meaning. <laughs> you may leave. See, let me tell you, a time will come when the gate of this palace will be thrown open and nobody will enter. And you will be forced to come and bend. So you are not, you are not insulting me. When you get home, tell your mother, insult her because I know I'm old enough to give back to you. Stop, boy. Not so. Leave. What's wrong with this woman? See, let me tell you, I'll be the first to drag this woman whenever I see her again in this palace. I've marked her. Came here, and what did I find? I found only five of you. Would you please tell me exactly what happened? Why are the others not here? Your Majesty, all animals are equal, but some animals are, however, more equal than the others. Mm. So, what I'm gathering from what you've said now is that the five of you believe that you are more important than the others. <clears throat> Your Majesty, we have come to the conclusion that. If you have to choose a leader amongst the maidens in this palace, that leader should come from at least the five of us. Your Majesty, we want to know our leader tonight. <laughs> My royal maidens. Wow. <laughs> You know, this palace remains the only palace where comfort is guaranteed. Uh, uh. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down. Mm. <laughs> so <that's it. laughs> ah, Nora. 
You know, this palace remains the only palace where comfort is guaranteed. I don't want any of you to be interested in leadership. Yes. If you want anything from the king, you know what channel to follow. I'll say goodbye. Your Majesty. My Nora. Yes. <laughs> Maiden of Honor is a new language in the palace. And we would like you to please explain to us what it means. Well, it is obvious that uh, it was you who told them what I said. Now, why don't you go a step further? and tell them what I said about Maiden of Honor. Your Majesty, you are the King, Your Majesty. You are the Supreme Controller, Your Majesty. You are the ultimate decider of all things. So we want you to explain to us if the Maiden you brought into this palace today has become our leader, then we shall all know that the position has been taken now I want you all to listen to me. I hereby declare that all royal maidens are now maiden of honor. This title has become sacred. It has not been given to any one person. I say good night. I would like to ask us a question. What do we understand by the declaration of the king? He merely spoke to Dao's detention he has noticed. Subsequent events shall prove to us if the position has been taken or not. <laughs> in fact, you needed to see the new lady when she was being let in. She carried herself. In fact, she walked like one royalty when she has not been adorned as one. She was looking so extraordinary. Gosh. <laughs> well, I see defeat in your eyes. But I want to tell you all oh, one thing. One thing. Nobody. Nobody shall defeat me in this palace. Why are you undermining my powers and showing me that you have no regard for constituted authority? I was brought here by your orders. One load into your convoy without my consent. With all due respect, Your Majesty. You are the one who's undermining my freedom of movement. The freedom of movement was uh, sacrificed on the altar of the highest title in the land. The Supreme Controller. You are the maiden of honor. You've been saying that since yesterday. How do you know that I am the maiden of all? Oh, the man from Urunebo was quite emphatic. He said there's a maiden from, from this land who will resurrect all the things that have been taken away from me. Oh, yes. Be that maiden. And 
I will give you half my kingdom. What? You're willing to give a maiden or maybe half of your kingdom? <laughs> what is a man without his libido? Oh yes, I want that maiden. And when I find them, I will make her the most expensive maiden ever. I read my lips. I shall make her rich in foreign currency. The offer is quite lucrative, Your Majesty. I'm really enticing. I must refuse you. My future is with someone else. Oh, I look into your I look into your eyes and I see that there is no future with that name come poop. Oh yes, your future is here with me. There is royalty written, written all over you. I don't I don't belong here, Your Majesty. You, Please let me go home and freshen up. Look, you are the one who has refused to use the facilities we have here. Refusing me. You refused me all night. How long will you continue to refuse me? Forever, Your Majesty. I will resist you forever. You are old enough to be my father. I cannot do anything with you. I am the old wine that gets better with age. Yeah. I'm at your service, Your Majesty. Miss Ellison, I brought a lady here yesterday. She's still here with me. I want you to come and uh, adorn her in um, royal robes. Hmm? We are going out for a walk. Consider it done, Your Majesty. Good. She's going to be here. What's going on? Aren't you going to let me go back to the man I want to marry? You are mine. There is no going back. You have seen the nakedness of a king. You can never be allowed to see the nakedness of another man. I refuse to belong here, Your Majesty. I am not going anywhere. Kill! Excuse me. Greetings from the throne of Igwe Potopoto of Potopoto Kingdom. I greet you too. Greetings. So what have you come here to do? Um, as at noon yesterday, your Igwe and um, his bodyguards forcefully took away my fiancée. Mm -hmm. And I have come to see her. Not just to see her, I want to take her back home because she belongs to me, not to any other person. Young man, I would advise you to be very careful with whatever you say. Are you alright? Okay. Are you okay? Well, um, the truth is, I'm not ready to disobey your orders. Okay. But I want you to do me one favor. What kind of favor is that? I am pleading for his own force. Just do me one favor. This is her phone. I mm -hmm. want you to give it to her. They, they did not allow her to go out with it when, when they first wanted to go away. Please, just give her the phone so I could call her. Please. That's not my business. I advise you to leave this place because if she's your wife or your girl, she will definitely call you. Are you alright? She's my fiance. Huh? Please. That's your business. No, just give her the phone. I, she's not gonna call. I'm okay with you. You can go. See. I said leave this place. I, 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 I said leave this place. I am just begging you. Just give I don't wanna see you here again, no. Come, please, please. I said go, 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 go. You must give her the phone. 
give her this one. You must give her this one. What is it? Just come and give her this one. You're doing like this. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving this place until I see my fiance. I'm not leaving this place. Whoa, whoa. Body job or whatever you call yourself. Come out here. Take this phone and give to my fiance. Why will you just go, go, come and take somebody's wife like that? Is that how they do this? If you need her, go and look for her on the road. And not to take her from me. What is this? I'm going to stay here until you come out. If you don't open this gate, I will sit down myself. Whatever you like, do. I'm going to remain here until you come and take this phone. Or you let me to see her. In fact, I'm going to sleep here. I will sleep here until you do whatever you want to do. Where are you? Your Majesty, please, the young man that just dropped past us is my fiance. Let me talk to him at least, please. You belong to the palace. Your future is in the palace. You are a multi-millionaire. Why don't you start thinking about dropping this, this, this riff-raff? At least let me speak the woman. to him. Let me just speak to him, that's all I ask. That, 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 that ragamuffin does not love you. How can you say that, Your Majesty? Well, subsequent events will... Uh, we will show you that that Ninka Poop does not love you at all. Really wants that uh, in greatness to you. And then men of virtue will do anything to make sure that their wives attain glory. Not try to attain glory through their wives. The king is merely denying the obvious. She has been chosen as the maiden of honor. The king is merely denying the obvious. Look, I think it is time for us to figure out in time how to grant the king to a halt. You will be surprised with what I'm going to say. What? I've already lost the interest in the king and I'm not even seeing him. Lost? Uh, I'm confused. There is a charmer in this palace, and he's Prince Ubaka. I've been consumed by his charms, and he's the only one I see around here. Yes. So what makes you think he would ever look your way? I'm aware that some maidens have gone to seduce him and failed. So what makes you different? And what are your plans? <laughs> Take a look at this. You of all people should know that we have different ladies with different body chemistries. Mm. And my power when it comes to seducing a man, it's electrifying. You know, mm. no man has ever survived when I unleash my seductive act. I'm telling you this because you're the only friend I have in this palace. I will be the first maiden in Baka, the monk is going to take. He will be so consumed that he will want to have it again and again. Because you darling, please come and
what I think. What? I think you're sick. But we live in a kingdom where the sexually dead king has assembled all the best ladies around. I can get to what I want. I humble myself before Prince to back out of Poto Poto Kingdom. I saw my father driving out this morning with a lady. You know where he was going to? The information passed to the head of the wardrobe is that he was going out for a walk with a maiden. Is it the same girl he came back with yesterday? Yes, Your Highness. Her name is Ifunanya. Daughter of Mr. Kalibu from Menuri Village. We saw her yesterday with her fiancé and the king or that has to join the convoy. What? Can't believe this. You met a lady with her fiancé and you ordered her to join your convoy? Why would you do a thing like that? My prince, it was an express order of the king. Okay. What happened to the said fiancé? He became unruly and we stopped him forcefully. <laughs> I humble myself as I speak to the prince. I call it kidnap because that is what it is. The king of this kingdom has kidnapped a young lady right before her fiance. Against her wish. Now I know the young man will come here looking for her. Listen to me. When he comes, don't turn him back. Direct him straight to my quarters. <laughs> my peace. I'm sorry, Your Highness. It, well, it's now too late. What do you mean it's now too late? The young man has been here, but we turned him back. It, it, we will lie with the lay down rules. Okay, now. You have an idea where this young man could be? He actually saw the king driving out with the woman. And he entered his own car and drove off. It is possible he followed the king. Yes. Hello? Hello? Before you carry out any order, first confirm with your conscience if such an order is the right thing to do. The God of the just will continue to be merciless with you if you continue to trample on them. It is an advice. You may leave. I saw you yesterday and uh, I was attracted. Oh yes, you have something that uh, no other maiden has. Uh, so I invited you here today to reveal to you some of the kingdom's secrets. Your Majesty, I'm but a commoner. I do not qualify to know the secrets of the king. Says who? <laughs> I am the supreme controller. 
the ultimate decider of all things. You have things that others, others don't have, so you are entitled to know what others don't know. Yes, indeed, it is scary. This is where the elders murdered my father. See, I took, I took the uh, title of uh, the Supreme Controller because I wanted to be sure that uh, the elders will not murder me the way former elders murdered my father. I don't understand that. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Oh, long before you were born. You see, oil was found in this kingdom. Yes. And, uh, the elders got together, had a secret meeting, and decided that my father was not going to let them have their share of the oil money. So they decided to murder him. I've never heard this, Your Majesty. That is why I call it the secret. Now, now let me tell you something else I have never mentioned to anybody, not none of the maid maidens. And that I took this the title because I wanted to make sure that nobody would be able to kill me. Your Majesty. And today I am in charge of all the oil money and all the other min uh, minerals that we have. Your my Majesty. Dear, my dear. <laughs> Accept my condolence. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. But I would very much like you to pull out of your cocoon of, 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 of fear, of shyness, and come into this group. Come into this group. You know. Then my father's uh, death, it's a long time. It's no longer the issue. You are the issue. Your Majesty, I do understand your frustrations. But how do I come into the picture? I mean, I, I, I honestly would have helped if I could, but... I... You know, this uh, title, Supreme Controller and ensured that nobody could kill me. But it came at a price. Right. If I see a beautiful woman now, um, I will my manhood will become absolutely on the button, ready to go. But the moment we cross into the, the palace, it will just go to sleep. And refuse to wake up. Oh yes. I know that my enemies are at work. I, I would like you to appreciate what I want from you. I, I would like you to help me. not right. It is totally wrong, okay? This madness has really, really got to stop. I'm tired of seeing your nakedness. I'm really tired of it. The king who brought you here has never touched you simply because he cannot do anything. Now you should be grateful to me for constantly making you feel like a woman. 
a woman. When the king brought me to this palace, he said in quotes, it is a taboo for you to see the nakedness of another man after seeing the nakedness of the Supreme Controller. What we are doing is wrong. And you constantly show me your nakedness. I'm tired of all this. I really, really want to back out, okay? I'm tired of all this, please. But the king is not a seer. And there is no way we ever get to know we are seeing each other. Is there? I don't know. I have this, I have this premonition that something will go wrong. Even walls have ears. If the king gets to know about this, do you know what that means? Death. I do not want to die. No. Excuse me. Really got to come on. But you seem to forget that I am the head guard in this palace. I am the king's ears. And nothing happens without my consent. Excuse me. strange title, the Supreme Controller, and that title has become his problem. He has his life to live, and I have mine to live. I have decided never to dumble into whatever he does. Mom, that's not right. The man in the center of this whole thing is my father. Your husband, the king. This is getting out of hand, and even if nobody does anything about it, you should be seen to be doing something because he's your husband. My dear, do you know that the guards are having wonderful time with all the maidens your father kidnapped into this palace all in the name of Supreme Controller? I don't understand, Mom. What do you mean by the guards having wonderful time with all the maidens? I might not be nosing around this palace because I don't want to be misunderstood by anybody. But that does not stop me from being Queen of Wine Manari of Potopoto Land. The maidens that have seen your father's nakedness are constantly opening themselves to the guards. What? Don't ask me what that means because I'm sure you know the implication. Danger looms. Oh, mother. Mom, that's bad. You, you see what I'm talking about? You see, you see why we have to do something about it before it blows up. Please. My dear, there's this saying in our land. And I'm sure you know about it. He who goes into the bush to fetch ant-infested firewood has invited lizard to have a party in his compound. Your father is the supreme controller, oh. the ultimate decider. Mm -hmm. No one ever advises him on what to do. No one advises him. He knows it all. <coughs> but it doesn't still make it right. We, we owe it to him to tell him the truth. expecting some merchants from QA tomorrow, so I need to go settle down, prepare the files, and memorandum of understanding, and be ready for them. 
to make it that way. There we go. The same thing you have said now is the same reason why I called you here. It's time you think less about the business of the family. Think more about yourself. Mother, I'm the one in charge of the family business. Mm. Our father is now the supreme controller. He's retired, he can do business no more. So I'm in charge. So why would I be selfish and dump the family fortune and think about myself? Why? My advice has nothing to do with being or not being selfish. All I'm asking you to do is to select a wife for yourself. You're not getting younger, you know, and you sure need a wife. I bow in greeting to Her Majesty, Queen Amoma of Putuputu Kingdom. You're welcome, my son. You may be seated. Thank you. You don't look okay. Is anything the matter? Your Majesty, danger looms in this palace. Hmm. My mother is not willing to do anything, and you're readily the next person in line to take a lead. We have to stop the king before this palace collapses. Hey, what's your problem? Huh? Why are you creating mischief in this palace? Why are you going around inciting the queens against their husband? Tell me, why? Why? Right under our noses, the guards have been sleeping with all the maidens our father kidnapped into forced marriages in his infamous capacity as the Supreme Controller. Are you aware of that? We need to talk. Leave our mother out of this. We are men, let's talk about this. Come here. I'll get back to you. When men run faster than their gods, they run into untimely death. to square one. Everything I felt in the garden has disappeared. Nothing. Your Majesty, if you ask me, I would suggest that you seek wider consultation for the solution could be even closer. Well, I'm not going to, I'm not going for any wider consultations. You are my solution. Not your solution, my king. It's only a matter of time. I, I, want, I want you to relax and uh, you know, and enjoy yourself. I feel at home. You have everything at your disposal. You will not be denied anything. I, I, I will resolve it soon. I know why the king said my fiancé doesn't love me. You will not understand, my dear. There are some mysteries that you are too young to understand. 
but enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Whatever you want. understand you. Are you trying to tell me that the gods are not only the guilty ones, that you've been sleeping with the maidens as well? everywhere in this palace you've not been huh? wait, wait, wait. I... what are you what are you talking about wait you want me to sleep with the maidens married to my father oh, come ah. on Ob come on Obaka. the maidens are not married to our father because the marriages they have not been consummated now I know this maiden I've tasted some of them. I've, I've taken my time to look at them. These maidens, they're not, they're not. these maidens, they are, they are sex starved. As they were. Now, if if we leave them, we will go ahead to bring other men into this palace, into my palace, and I will not take that. Naka, wait, wait. Do you know there is marriage by declaration? No. The fact that the king, our father, has declared them his wives, has made them so. Now, if you go ahead to sleep with any of those girls, it's tantamount to you sleeping with your own mother. Because they are our stepmothers. And that, if you must be told, is an abomination. Hmm. Let that be my headache. And I'll leave you to follow the bandwagon if you like. Our father, he cannot do anything with any woman, unfortunately, because he has his problems, which you know. Now, I wouldn't want you to give people the impression that you have similar problems. I look at you. I look at you, I look in your eyes every day, even though you seem weak. I know you can bite. So bite! King of Potopoto Kingdom, even you, a man of God, you call me a man, man, Almighty King. Why? Why do you people accord this man so much respect? Why? If you look at your time. We say it is after 11 p.m. I should have gone to sleep. Why? Wasting my time. 
utame wa hiyo wa yeye prophet ali i want you to look into your gaza and find out if this evil king has it up my feet that's what i want you to find out from it yes and if i tell you what will you do i'm going to raise my business all i want you to do is just find out i must know what your intentions are before i say a word This singular statement of yours, I understand that you don't love that woman, and I want you to leave my presence now. I said, "Me, prophet, why, why would you say such a thing? How can I propose to a woman that I don't love? How can I be busy all day just because of one woman trying to rescue her?" All I want you to do for me is log into your, your casa and, and find out if that evil man, that evil king has penetrated my fiance. That's what I want to do. Please. If you love that woman, you wouldn't have given up on her so easily. You would not have given up or cancelled all that you shared with her. Abduction of this woman is going to make you rich, very rich. And I want you to think towards that and talk less of nonsense. Prophet, I, I came here so you can help me find out. If that evil king has violated my fiance, <laughs> you're here talking about riches. Just help me find out. I look at you. I see a very big fool that does not know when opportunity comes. Opportunity comes, but once tapping on it. Comfortable with your comportment. Is there anything the matter? There's always something wrong in the life of a man. I call this meeting because, as the honor, I want to confide in you. I want to make some serious readjustments in, in, in cardinal areas as it concerns the. Um, the existence and operation of the supreme controller of this kingdom. Your position as the supreme controller, the first of its kind in the history of this kingdom, empowers you to be a judge, even in your own case. I am only old today because I inherited the staff from my father. I am going to do only one thing, and that is to listen to you. I know. There are forces against me. 
Oh yes, I have everything a man could wish for. I have assembled the most beautiful maidens in this land. Ha! I have problem. Oh, no, I have problem. I have not been able to sleep with one of them. No. May I know why, Your Majesty? I am not going to ask if they refused. Because I know they cannot refuse. But why haven't you entered any of the meetings you assembled? Mm. Mm. The moment I get the maiden in, into my chambers, my manhood collapses like a wet towel. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, yes. And it happened many, many times. Oh, no. Ah, this is serious. This is serious. <laughs> you, you are lucky. Medical science has, t has evolved beyond the problem. <laughs> <laughs> what I need is medical attention. <laughs> what I have is beyond medical attention. Because the moment I take the maiden back outside the palace, my manhood becomes comes to attention, ready for action. Your Majesty. Mm. I want to believe that you have not triggered your own death by entering any of the medals outside the four walls of the palace. Oh no, that is why I invited you here. I want you to come with me to the deity of Upa, the paramount god of Putuputu kingdom. Oh yes. I want you to stand by me as I make the declaration that it is no longer sacrilege for the king to play outside the palace with any maiden. Your Majesty, hmm? I will never follow you to that deity to make such a declaration. But you are the honor of this land. I know. You must be seen to be working with the king. You broke our age-long pattern by taking the title of, the revered title of uh, 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 Spring Controller. My father told me everything uh, that happened. Or are you telling me now that uh, you do not know that the spring controller must not play with any maiden outside the palace before you took the title? Oh, I know. I know. I know that the, uh, 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 the, 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 that the king must not play with a maiden outside the palace. But now, the problem is that I cannot do anything inside the palace. So, what are you going to do about it? We have to change it. So I readily pick from your greeting is that you don't know me. That's true. I'm new in this place. I know nothing about the palace or, or the people in it. I'm Naka. Prince. Prince Naka. The heir apparent to the throne. Is busy with your no. So I am here. I am here to chat you up. I'm sorry, my prince. I have nothing to say. All I can say for now is that I was brought here against my wish. 
and I'm beginning to settle down to traditional reality that I will be going nowhere. means by grace the woman in me and expose me to the world. Okay. 
You have my word. You have my word. I will not mention a word of this to your father. I won't tell him that you came here to take me. Okay, which means for that is if you promise that this will never repeat itself again. Naka. City as they know, my loyalty is with the customs and traditions of this land. I am a man of the future. You cannot cajole me into doing a thing that is against the customs and traditions of this land. Oh no. Oh no. Where is your milk of human sympathy? I have assembled in my palace beautiful, the most beautiful maidens of this kingdom. And I cannot do anything with them because of the restriction placed on venue. Why don't we change the tradition? Why are you unwilling to do that? What you have is a problem you can solve yourself. I will never make myself available for any change in the customs of our people. Supreme Controller Is anything the matter? No. No? I don't know why you came into my chambers. I don't like the way you're looking at me. I've told them that you are still naive because nobody has shown you the real thing. I've come to offer myself to you. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Wait, I want to understand you. What are you? What do you want? What does it look like? Hey, wait! Wait, wait a minute! Are you trying to seduce me in the palace? Do you realize you're my father's wife? I am not your father's wife. You are! No! A promising young woman like me, with all her senses active and very functional, can be married to a sexually dead king? He doesn't touch me. And we've confirmed that he doesn't touch any of the maidens. Sophie, I, I need you. No. Please. No. I'm pleading. Please grab me and make me feel like a woman. Wait, wait, no! No! Hey! 
Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Listen, I am not one of those debased men that would go into their father's wives, okay? So please leave. I am not married to your father. I am not. Your mother and Naka's mother are the only women he married. All the maidens were forcefully brought into this palace. And it would be right if I said we are in bondage. I need a touch of a man. No, not me, please. I need you, please. No! Feel me. No, I can't, no! What I'm asking of you is what your brother Onaka would pay any amount of money for. My brother Onaka? Yes. I refused because I don't like him. It is you I like. Hey, no, please. no. Make love to me. No! No, 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 go, go. No. Please. No, no, go! Leave before someone sees us here. I can't. Please. No! Leave. Hey, wh what are you doing? What? No, 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 wait, wait, wait! Now! Get out! Please. Put back your clothes and leave my presence! A disgrace to men. Your Majesty. 
will not accept this. She could not have done this to herself. No. She could not have killed herself. Someone did this. I'm surprised that you're still following this case. DPO, I have resolved that I will follow this case to its logical completion. You see, my people have us tell me that he who kills and walks away will surely run like a snake the day he kills from your warrior's family. I cannot say I know the import of your saying. Uh, as I speak to you now, my fiancée has not gotten to her father's house. She is still held hostage in that palace. So I came to ask you for some officers. Officers? What for? You see, Dipio, I went there the other day and the people walking out the gate refused me to enter. And I know if I have to go there alone, they will still not allow me to go in. So I want to go with some officers. Young man, I... I must truly tell you that there's no need for all this. DPO, I know you said um, you need her to come down here and make a statement. Fine. DPO, I want to ask you one very important question. How are you sure that she's still alive? If the parents of this girl think otherwise, then they can make a formal complaint. DPO. Give me officers and let us turn that palace and make sure that my fiance is still alright. Young man, I am sorry. I don't have officers for you. <sighs> you see, I have this this hard feelings that you're in the king's bureau. And you are part of his ill gotten world. I was wondering, be mindful of what you say in front of a senior police officer. See, yeah. I'm sorry, DPO, but you see, you gave me the reason for such impression. Why? I mean, why on earth are you are you hiding a criminal? Young man, I think you have a way. Get out of my office now before I throw you into the cell. <sighs> you see, um, you see, it, 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 it. <laughs> DPO, it's not gonna work for you. It won't. It won't work for you. The day I found out that that animal, that so-called animal, molested my wife, I swear to God, I'm going to charge you to cut. Yo, man, get out of my office now. It's part of Bermuda. Come and take this young man out of my I said, get out of my office now. I told you to this, sir. Get out of my office. 
for me now. Inspector, who is there? Inspector Bermuda. You don't need to shout at me. She did not kill herself the way he told us. Uh, I want to know what you're thinking. Uh, you really think she didn't kill herself? Exactly, Father. Exactly. I mean, why would she kill herself? She is on a monthly salary of 500,000 naira, and I only paid her three days ago, right? And she was in high spirit, then all of a sudden, Father, boom, she's gone. I still ask, Father, why would she kill herself? Why? So what are you insinuating? Father, it is possible that Obaka invited her to his chambers, mm. and then, he raped her, and I mean raped her thoroughly. And by the time it was done, because he didn't want her to spill it out, he murdered her in cold blood with the same gun. I am so sure of it. Hmm. You, you, you are painting your own brother in in the, in the in the light I do not like. You know you are accusing him of murder. And this could earn him life imprisonment. So, Father, are you saying that we should cover crime? Huh? Crime as huge as murder in this palace just because we don't want someone to go to jail. Is that it? No, son. No. These are trying times. And we must make sure that we do not play into the hands of the enemies. This is your monthly allowance of 500 grand. And then, this is 300 grand from me to you. My personal gift for you. I'm giving you the extra because because I love you. I love you beyond words. I want to know the exact reason why you asked me to come to this office to get the check. Because the standard thing to do is that you bring the check back to us in the palace. Well. From here, my office, I run the family business from this point. And my father, my father, my father, my father, my father, the one that brought you to the palace, he's, he's old. 
is weak. He cannot do anything. So I... I brought you here to tell you and show you how much I... I love you and desire you. My dear, the useless gods that brought you here, I already sent them downstairs. And you know what that means? We now have this whole office to ourselves to do. Sometimes I wonder why they'll make you the business controller. You're never a serious human being. Wait, 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 wait. 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 You can never buy me with money. If it were your brother, perhaps I would have given him but for you nothing. Now or ever. Come back here. You don't walk out on me. Come back here. Nora, why are you looking like a missing child? You said to us that the prince lied. That is why you, we want you to explain what you meant by that. I don't believe they're going to kill herself. I think she was murdered by the prince. How could you say this, Nora? I mean, I find it so difficult to believe that prince Ubaka could kill someone. Oh, no. Think about something else, please. Why would you say that? She confided in me. And she said that she wanted to go and seduce the prince. She did? She sounded very serious. I told her she was sick, but I could still see the seriousness in her. <laughs> It is, is it possible that she went to seduce the prince and she did not succeed? Knowing fully well that the prince was going to report her, she decided to commit suicide. If you believe that, then you can believe anything. I think what happened was that she went to the prince and then she managed to seduce him. But then the prince knew that she was going to come back to us and tell us the news. So, he decided to murder her and keep her silent for life. Now that is very hard to believe. Very hard to believe. I mean, why would he want to kill her? Why? Why? Why would she kill herself? Is it because I refused to do what she asked of me and walked her out of my chambers? Why would she shoot herself? We were just asking ourselves. We were just asking ourselves that same question before you came in. Because we know of absolutely no reason why God will kill us. 
Wait a minute. Look, I, I, I want to understand what's going on through your mind. Are you in any way implying she didn't kill herself? Who could... Oh, wait. A are you thinking... I mean, this whole thing is... It's confusing. I don't even know what to believe anymore. Uh, what are you doing here again, young man? Uh, I have come to see Ifunaya. Please, I want to see Ifunaya. See, I brought money for you. I, I, I will give you. I am pleading. Let me just see her, please. Hello, listen. The situation in the palace now is too critical. A median shot and killed herself this morning. So no visitors is allowed to go in. Uh, um, for now, wait, please. Wait, 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 can wait, go. wait, wait. Hope it's not Ifunaya. Eh? Hope it's not Ifunaya. Which of the medians, the, 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 the mother in this palace? Eh? Which of them? Hope it's not my Ifunaya. No, 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 no. You must repeat what you heard me say. I didn't say a median was shot or murdered. Rather, a median shot herself and this morning. Please. Uh, but hope is not Ifunaya. Hope, hope she's, she's not black at all. Uh, have you confirmed? Have you confirmed? The, the median that was killed. Not confirmed. Just, please, I'll give you money. Just, just give me the information. Give me the information. Yet. It's not confirmed. See, my, my, my friend, please. Uh, um, the, the, the median that they shot and killed, that, 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 that killed in the palace here. Who is she? Hope, hope is not Ifunaya. The, the, the top black the, one. The uh, maiden that shot and killed herself will not be confirmed. Uh, I will not be confirmed yet. Uh, uh, but, but hope is not Ifunaya. Is it not? Okay, just, I don't know yet. Okay, just, just, just take me to Ifunaya. Please, let me just see her. Uh, please. 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 Okay, uh, excuse me. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, come with me. Okay. No, no excuse me. me. What are you planning to do? Let us know I'm not allowed to receive any male visitors in the, the palace. So, what, 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 have you forgotten the protocol? I told you. I'm not taking to any medic. I'm taking to Prince Obaka. Yes. Yes, Prince Obaka. Be careful. Prince Prince Obaka. Be careful. Prince Prince. Prince. Be careful. Yeah. I mean, this is complicated, Your Majesty. Why, why would she kill herself? Honestly, my dear, I don't understand what's going on. She got paid her salary only a few days ago. Now she doesn't want for anything in the palace. Why would she want to go and commit suicide? And in my palace? Someone forcefully tried to rape her. She refused, and then the person killed her so she wouldn't say anything. That was exactly what my son said earlier. Even if I'm not going to believe the rest of the world, I will believe you. I will believe you because you are my maiden of honor. Yes. Get me the divisional police officer. Tell him I want to see him immediately. Your Majesty, I do not believe that Ubaka killed her. Prince Ubaka couldn't have killed her. Someone else must have murdered her and dropped her right in front of his door to make it seem like he did. I mean, just to implicate him. Mm. Well, my dear, the police will investigate and I can assure you it will be thorough and anybody found implicated in this dastardly act oh will face the wrath of the law Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. 